So I want to show you generative fill in Adobe Firefly. But before we jump into that, I want to have fun by, well, I'll, I'll try to do different ways. First, I'm going to go to the text to image generation. And I'm going to type in Irish countryside. I'm going to also select that so we can use that again. Hit generate. I've never gotten that before. Prompt is too short, but uh, you never know. Looks pretty good. Now that's even nice, but it was set to art. So let me click over on the right. You'll see I can set it to photo. And then it's regenerating. It's quite nice. And then the only other option is to change it to widescreen, 16 by 9. So I can also use it for the banner for this video. <clears throat> so Irish countryside set to 16 by 9 ratio. And it's set to photo. This is quite nice. I favorite it. I can download it. And just cycle through to see. This is quite nice too. Hard to decide. Very realistic, right? I mean, I think it takes Adobe stock photos, variety, and then composites them together for you. Yeah, they're all nice. Good series. And so all I do is I go to the top left, back, click back twice. Then here I'm at generative fill. So I just hit generate. And it asks you to upload an image. So I'm going to upload one of my Irish countrysides on a Mac. So what I can do is I can do a quick preview just by holding my space bar. I even like the first one. So just say open, get the first one. There's my image created in Adobe Firefly. Now also in Adobe Firefly for generative fill. And so as you can see over here, you have the insert, remove, and pan options. So I want to insert similar features to the Photoshop beta example I showed. So I'm going to just paint here and it says describe the image you want. I'm just going to say bird and hit generate. And I think they should create a, a kind of progress bar. But uh, And then you get four different options. Not sure if you see seagulls too often. A, looks like a goose. <laughs> So if I hit the more button, then it will regenerate a new series. So it might be wise if you know what, exactly what kind of bird you're looking for, you can type in that kind of bird. Not sure a seagull looks correct in this. Um, so I might say, don't know of an exact kind of bird, but maybe say your blackbird, hit generate. And then you'll just see the gray kind of fluctuating and then you'll see a four series really took that to heart it made it real like no detail just blackbird okay and then you know to to be aware you can also have fun you don't have to always think of it as like what's the most realistic so I'm just curious if I type in dragon and hit generate it might be a little bit of a dragon or off in the distance with the small uh, insert selection I made. Yeah. Not too bad. These are kind of cool. And they give you little options of color too. So what I might do is say cancel and then say clear. And then what I'll do is from here to here, I make a selection. Just kept my last text, dragon, and I just hit generate. And then you see the progress bar, the f fluctuating gray squares. Well, that's kind of cool. That looks kind of like a bird. It got very abstract. That's kind of nice, the red. So there's a red dragon. And then I could put, uh, so I say keep. 
and then I could say yeah, it's set to add so I can click here I could say um, little boy so there's like a boy standing there hit generate not sure if I even need to make the selection that large for it oh that's good so he's looking around here's looking back <laughs> looking right looking left I like that one <laughs> so casual while the dragons <laughs> coming in and then let's see just for fun, I'm going to say keep, and this is add, so I can make another selection here. And I'm just going to try something fun like spaceship. So yeah, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That might be the most subtle one, if you can call it subtle. <laughs> What's fun? And if I didn't like that, but first I'm going to download this just in case the other new generations aren't as good. So I'm downloading it, but then I can hit the more button at the bottom, and that'll s create a new series of four. This takes only about 10, eh, less than 10 seconds because it already had a general. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like that one. So I hit download on that. And then just kind of preview. And then, yeah, if you hit the left arrow, you'll cycle through the whole series. So, you know, that was like the first one I did. We have the second, third, fourth. Then I hit the arrow button. Then you have the next sequence of four. So pretty good. So I hit clear and go back to upload image. So that was, you know, creating something from Fire, Firefly and bringing it in and then doing some fun generative fill. And then now what I'm going to do is work on some similar images that I had before just to show you how it does in Firefly generative fill as opposed to Photoshop beta. So I can do the command plus or minus to zoom in. I'll zoom in a little bit. If I press my space bar on the Mac, I can bring it up a little bit. And so I want to insert. So I'm just going to do a quick little selection. And I do make it a little bit looser around so I can pick up some of the information in the background. Um, type in dog so it'll be similar kind of comparison to what I did with Photoshop beta in another video so once again kind of weird it's on the other side of the the wall here which means it would be falling here it's really falling and it's got a very extended arm bit, bit abstract Okay, so I'm going to hit cancel, and I'm going to just say standing dog. So sometimes you have to lead it a little bit if it generate. It reads it. There's a dog behind. It likes the dog behind. There's one's standing. So it's, and then it brought some weird flag or something. So if I click more, then it'll read that again and give me another sequence of four for standing dog. So it's standing behind. Yeah, this series, is, except for the last one, standing on top. It's not bad. Now if I hit cancel and I get rid of standing dog, if I leave this blank and then hit generate, then it will read the image, and I believe it'll just remove the figure, the, the woman that was there before, and then it should rebuild that uh, top of the wall. Yeah, which I think did a great job. So there's one variation. That one I think is even better. Maybe sim 
you know, the uh, movement of the tile. They're all pretty good. So, pretty seamless. So I'm going to download that. It applies the uh, Firefly watermark. And I'll download that one too. Pretty cool. And uh, so I just go back to General Fill, say Upload Image, and then uh, this image I'm going to upload. It's a girl standing there, kind of in a field. And I'm just going to paint over her, use the space bar to go further down. Of the shoe. I'm going to say standing bear. See what that looks like. Hit generate. It's calculating, reading the background. That's very abstract. What kind of bear is this? <laughs> it's a very abstract bear. Did I, I spell it right? I don't know why. Um, maybe I'll get rid of the word standing. I kind of have to feel it out. Like the, if it does something that's a little strange or abstract like that, maybe get rid of one word or add a different word. So I'm going to just type in bear itself. Maybe it'll be, you know, notice it doesn't like that standing. It's very abstract in this one. So... Maybe lion. Hit generate. And it will read the background and hopefully create a new. Yeah. So there's lion playing with a ball, it looks like. That's not too bad. There's leaping, but it looks like its head's missing. It's not too bad. But in general, a lot of fun. Just go to firefly.adobe.com. You have the options of text to image, generative fill, text effects. A lot of fun. Really love it. So keep on having fun with Adobe Firefly. Text to image, generative fill, text effects, and new innovations coming soon enough. Thanks, everybody.